To export a smaller file size, click on this button here inside Premiere Pro. And now I will show you the settings you can use to reduce the file size without losing quality. So give it a file name here. Then click on this blue link here to set the file location. And now change the format from H.264 to H.265 which will give a higher quality in the same file size. The preset will by default say custom. Now open this video tab here and click on match source which will give you all the correct settings. Then click on the more button here. Make sure that these two boxes are enabled. You can set the performance against hardware encoding if it's available. Set the tier to high. And now is the most important settings. So the bitrate encoding we want to set against VBR1 pass, which will give the smallest file size, but a high quality. And then we want to reduce the bitrate. So if you watch down here in the corner, you can see the estimated file size. And if we now change it from 50 to 10, like so, you can see that the estimated file size is now only 100 megabytes. So we have reduced it to a fifth of what it was. But here you want to be a bit careful. You don't want to ruin the video. A nice way to make sure you don't ruin your video is to go to where you have the video saved on your computer. Right click, properties, details, and we can see that the original clip is 5400 kilobits per second which is the same as 5 megabits per second so I will set it to 5 but I want to set it slightly higher so I will set it to 6.5 since we have added some effects to the clip now set the quality against highest here the audio settings won't matter since they won't increase the quality too much and click on export. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful and I link to this article for more information down below.